Hello and welcome back to Stop, Look, and Listen with Samantha. And today we're going to talk about listening. Fun fact, have you ever looked up the meaning of your name? Well, mine literally means listener. Try searching yours on the web today and see what it says. And let me know what you think it means to you. When we have long-standing relationships with others, it can be very easy to brush away what they're saying and not truly listen. Now, it's very common for someone to treat someone that's close to them within their circle very differently than they would treat a stranger or someone that they were trying to impress. And why is that? And that's what we're gonna delve into a bit deeper today. When you have a history with someone, you may make assumptions that you already know what their behavior is or you already know what they're gonna say. But a lot of us have fixed behaviors that we may not be aware of. You'd be surprised things that you're doing that you're literally blind to, that you really don't realize that you are causing an effect within your own actions. Now, when someone really loves you, they may take the time to point out the offense to you or to try to communicate with you and if it's gone past a point where they feel that you're no longer listening at all they may begin to keep secrets or keep information from you because they feel you just won't take it in and that's no good because open communication is the key to happy relationships I learned some of these tips with customer service and you'd be surprised how many customer service tips can actually be applied to your daily life so some listening tips that we have here is one don't interrupt i think one of the first things that we do especially with people that are close to us is we tend to just hush them up okay enough i know what you're already going to say you don't have to begin or we stop them in their tracks and we don't really take the time to listen. So really step one, when you're trying this exercise is just let the person get it out. You don't have to sit there and interject right away. You will have your turn to speak. Let them say what they have to say. And that's therapeutic on its own. The fact that you can sit there, take it in and listen is a sign of respect and everyone deserves respect. Know this, my beloved, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, and slow to anger. Two, very common, you may find yourself taking offense or getting angry. So it's like you have this big bucket of things that are wrong with another person that you're just ready to dig out of that bucket and throw in their face for the second. How dare they? How dare they express their issue to you? But that's not what we're talking about. They are expressing something about you or something that bothered them, and that's what you need to regain focus on. So the second that you start to take offense to it and pull out this laundry list of, well, you, 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 that has nothing to do with it, that's you trying to calm your guilt, that's you trying to not take responsibility, and hey, you can take responsibility. Everybody's wrong sometimes. To take responsibility is a sign of integrity. Now, once they've expressed what they need to say and you haven't interrupted and you've tried to remain neutral and not take offense, a good thing to do is to repeat it back. And this shows the person that you were listening. So again, you don't wanna repeat it back in a disrespectful or offensive way that throws it in their face, right? So for example, you might say, so what you're saying to me is that you feel that you haven't been listened to or you feel that you've been treated unfairly in comparison to the way that I treat others. Is that correct? You're taking the main issue that they told you and you're repeating it back to them, which shows that you were listening, that you did understand, and you're not putting some kind of a spin on it to insult them because that takes all the progress away. Now, depending on what it is they shared with you, you might need some time to take that in before you respond, especially if you're someone who is inherently quick to anger. So you might say, okay, I wanna let you know, I heard what you said. I need some time to kind of take this in so I can come back with a proper response for you. I appreciate you. I thank you for bringing this to my attention because they love you. People don't bring things to your attention unless they really care. They could very easily walk away. So they care or they care about the people that you're hurting and this is why they are bringing it to your attention. The reality is that everyone wants to feel heard, understood, and respected. And if we can all do that, no matter who it is you're talking to, if you can treat someone with love and kindness, respect, and let them know that they're heard and that they're important, 
That is amazing. You can control your behavior. You cannot control other people's behavior. And the way that they told you this information may have come off brash. It may have come off as insulting, but what you need to be able to do is just take some time to strip all that offense, to strip all those things down and look at the, the skeletons of what it is that they said to you and really think about where is your responsibility in that? No one is perfect. We all do the wrong thing. And to be able to stand up and say, hey, I take responsibility. You are well on your way to repairing that relationship. Thank you for watching Stop, Look and Listen with Samantha. I really appreciate you. You are amazing. I hope you can like, share and subscribe today.